Hi everyone. So in this week's uh, talks, we're talking a lot about optimization and analytics and how to calculate whether one uh, particular design of a website is doing better than another or one particular ad is doing better than another. Uh, and that's all great and very useful, but you know, a lot of the way I'm presenting it to you, I'm showing you data that's already been cleaned up and made ready. So where does this data come from? Uh, well, the answer is that it comes from an analytics package that you might be using. Uh, and Google Analytics is an extraordinarily popular one, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that today. Uh, but there are other competitors out there, for instance, Adobe makes one as well, right? Um, and before we even get into Google Analytics proper, which I'll talk about next week, I want to show you a little bit about Google Analytics Academy. Now, Google Analytics Academy provides you with the ability to become a certified Google Analytics expert, right? Um, and as you can see, there's a number of different courses that you can take, Google Analytics for Beginners, Advanced Google Analytics, e-commerce, and Google Tag Manager Fundamentals, right? Um, and the one we're gonna concentrate on a little bit, a lot today is on this Google Analytics for Beginners. Uh, so I, um, by the way, this is easily accessible at analytics.google.com slash analytics slash academy. If you type in Google Analytics Academy, you'll get the same website pretty easily, right? Um, so once you click through you and eventually register, you have to fill out a little form, but it's free once you're there. Uh, you come to this uh, set of pages that kind of guide you through. Um, and essentially it's similar to like the Google Digital Garage in that there's a number of different uh, videos that you can watch, right? Um, there are some uh, particular detailed stories and, and links. Um, it provides you with content all along the way uh, that you can kind of use to kind of understand how Google Analytics works, right? Um, there's even an interactive tour that you can start up, but if you think you know all this stuff, you can always click to the assessment at the end and, and fill it out, right? And go through and, and answer uh, the questions as best you can. Now, in order to get the certificate, you have to have an 80% on all the assessments, right? So in this particular case, um, you know, I kind of went through and just answered the questions. It was got an 87% right off the bat, right? Uh, so you might use that if you think that this material you already know, right? Um, and the be beginner one goes through things like what analytics is, what the layout is, basic reporting, uh, campaign and conversion tracking. Um, you can look to see the other courses that are available, right? Um, there's different announcements that might come up at some point along the way. And interestingly enough, there's also a kind of community where you can talk to other people about Google Analytics, right? Um, and kind of understand what's going on um, and uh, see what's happening. So this is a way for you to exchange ideas with other people who have similar topics to you, right? Um, there's some questions, right, about how to change the, the, the facts that you can, that you can read through. Um, and of course, you can click through and modify your profile. Why do you do all this? Well, you do all this because at the end, you're going to get a Google Analytics certificate. And that Google Analytics certificate can kind of prove that you have the bona fide credentials to work on Google Analytics, right? Um, and it's a stamp by Google to say that you have some knowledge of that. So anyways, that's the kind of the tools that I'm going to show. I'm not going to require you to do this for the course, uh, but if you're interested in it, want to learn more or gain that additional certification, I highly recommend you take a look at the Google Analytics Academy. Thanks.